Where in the world is Tigger? Hi friends, Tanya Kim here, and I'm back with another dose of your Collider News. A super violent and bloody Winnie the Pooh horror movie is currently playing in over 1,500 theaters nationwide, with Tigger nowhere to be found. Collider's own Perry Nemiroff recently caught up with filmmaker Reese Frake Waterfield to find out what is and isn't allowed when working with a property such as Winnie the Pooh after it's entered the public domain, specifically one that's still significantly tied to a major movie studio such as Disney. The way Pooh speaks as well. That sort of tone, which everyone links to Winnie the Pooh, is their copyright, really. I couldn't use phrases like, oh, bother. I couldn't put the red t-shirt on him. So there are a lot of these elements you just need to be really, really careful with. Because if you make a mistake there and you make the film, and if I had accidentally put Tigger in the film or got him to say, oh, bother, a lot, I would be really encroaching on their copyright and their branding then. Per U.S. copyright law, 95 years after publication, a book enters the public domain and can be legally used or referenced without permission. Because A.A. Milne's first collection of stories about the beloved bear Winnie the Pooh was published in 1926, the copyright expired at the end of 2021, allowing Freak Waterfield and Jagged Edge Productions to swoop in and make Winnie the Pooh Blood and Honey. Freak Waterfield is gearing up to make a Winnie the Pooh Blood and Honey sequel, but in the meantime, stay tuned to Collider.com for more with the filmmaker, as well as all of your movie and TV news trailers and reviews.